Bonner, how are things? How are you getting on? Good now, good. Yeah, you're in self-isolation? Yeah, the last few weeks, I suppose, it's been a bit of a change, but um, I suppose your normal routine is kind of thrown out of thrown out of the way, but um, I suppose the last, the last week or so, it's, it's become a bit easier, kind of getting used to it now, this set. And are you at home, or whereabouts are you? Yeah, I'm at home in my Tom Elba, so. Okay, and you're with the family? Yeah, yeah, still living at home, so. Okay, is there a good few of you in the house? You're not fit to kill each other yet? Uh, no, there's only three of us in the house at the moment. My brother Owen is um, he's a guard in Limerick, so he, he's living in Limerick. So we're not, just, we, we have a farm as well, so there's plenty of space to go off the steam if we, if we get on top of each other. Good, good. How are you dealing with the boredom? I mean, what are you doing every day? Are you the type to binge on Netflix? or? Uh, no, I suppose I'm, um, I'm a secondary school teacher now, so up to now, up to last week, we um, we were doing classes online and then you, know, you do um, the training in the evening and stuff around the farm as well. So, you know, it's, um, I think from my from my own perspective anyway, having the online classes and a bit of training to do is help to keep a routine, like, you know, so it's, um, it hasn't felt like, you know, a total kind of lockdown when you had that bit of routine for them. Yeah, how was the online classes like? Did you find it strange? Was it easy to try and, what, what are you teaching? Uh, teaching business. No, it was, it was great to be honest with you because um, I suppose students are so used to um, technology you now that you know better than yourself. So when you um, when you put up stuff, stuff like that, like, there's no fear that they, um, so they're all well able to understand it. And, like you're dealing with an age that they're, they're very comfortable with all that stuff. So it was great. And are you missing the hurling? Yeah, I suppose um, your your December, January, January and February are kind of your your toughest months, I suppose, training wise. And when you come into these sort of months, you're really looking forward to like even the way the weather is at the moment. You're looking forward to going out playing in this sort of weather and when the ground is hardening. So um, yeah, these are the I suppose these are the months you train for all year and you want to be playing in. So it is it is it's fine to not to have any games this time there. It must be strange though, you're going from a situation where you're probably training maybe five nights a week between gym and the pitch and like you're going from being with 30 or 40, fe- 40 fellas to being on your own. That must be a big change. Yeah, it is because um, I suppose, especially this time of the year, you're, you're so used to being kind of in that bubble of the county from you know, November to August all going well, John. Um, yeah, and even I suppose we, we all have our own individual training um, programs to follow but. I suppose doing your own is a lot different, like you know, even the, mm. um, just to crack yourself to let going into training and that sort of thing. You would miss it, like because um, I suppose it's not the same when to work on your own. There's talks of a restructure happening, and maybe you know the GA are going to try and make plans for what's going to happen. How would you feel about a total total knockout stage? Uh, I suppose like nobody really knows when this is going to finish. So whenever it does finish. Like everyone wants the championship to be played, and if if total knockout is the way to play it, and is the most um, like you think of the clubs too, like just um, you know, will, will the club to make sure the club scene get played too? So if it has to be total knockout, that yeah, that'd be good. Now I'm sure there's um, I suppose especially supporters are on each and the Quebec games, and if it was if it was straight knockout, it would be um, a lot more excitement than you'd have full houses every game. I think so. Um, I suppose from the excitement point of view and the point of view that um especially to get club games played and, and to, get, to make sure to get all the games played and, and probably the shortest best time that we will have it would be probably the, the smartest option to Who would be most spoiled between yourself and Owen? Uh, Owen, Owen uh, <laughs> okay. yeah, he's, uh, he's the memory spy <laughs> Who would have been the teacher's pet? So I would have Yeah, yeah being a teacher I, I'd imagine you would have been Who was the most behaved? Most behaved um, would have been Owen. Who is better at sport? Better at sport. <laughs> that's, that's yeah. Um, uh, I, 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 thought I, I thought I'm better at hurling. He's better at football. Oh, there's a good answer. There you go. Who was the biggest ladies man? Oh, there's only one winner there anyway. It's Owen. <laughs> have you any? Have you any nickname? I have yeah. Um, Tura. Go on. Um, just I suppose thanks to Camille at the end, I'd be uh, kind of over, over eager to get on the ball sometimes. Again, I'd, um, I'd, I'd roar yeah yeah when I'm looking for the ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 Tura. I think came from the. Okay, something on your bucket list. Um, I suppose I wouldn't really have anything kind of nailed down, but just to do more travel. I suppose. Okay, that's I'd, hard I'd, with I'd the be, hurling. Yeah. 
weird or strange phobias? Weird or strange phobias? Um, I wouldn't have any really, I suppose. They'd be claustrophobic, right? But nothing, nothing too nothing strange. Weird or strange yeah. No. Best GA player in your eyes? Best GA player in my eyes? Um, so, Joe Kenning. Joe Canning and the strictest manager you've ever had. Strictest manager I've ever had. Uh... <laughs> Go on, say it. I said Night Roma. Now, they were the quick fire questions about yourself, but now you get to um, name and shame the team, all right? Okay. The fastest. Fastest would be uh, Ryan Taylor. The slowest. Slowest would be. Um, Ever quit again. The, the biggest winger. The biggest winger. Uh, Dave Sturl. Always injured. Always injured. Uh, Colin McNerney. <laughs> Always late. Uh, Shane O'Donnell. Oh God. Most likely to get a spray tan. Most likely to get a spray tan. Say Aaron Turner. <laughs> Most likely to get their eyebrows waxed. Um, I say Turner her again. <laughs> The worst dressed. Worst dressed. Uh, worst dressed. Um, say Pat O'Connor. Okay, best dressed. Best dressed. Uh, best dressed. Shane Donald again. Most likely to slide into someone's DMs. Most likely to slide into someone's DMs. Uh, Kevin Hurr. To go, the most likely person to head to the Love Island Villa. Love Island Villa. Uh, Podge Collins. <laughs> the cheek. <laughs> the cheek. Why Podge? Uh, no, I just no, I skinned my head. Okay, okay. I, I, hadn't, I hadn't picked them yet. So. Yeah, you, you want to name. The cheekiest on the pitch. Cheekiest on the pitch. Um, Aaron Cunningham. Right, okay, okay. Now, I did mention earlier on, I did have something up on Instagram to allow people to ask you questions. And you wouldn't believe loads of them came in. So the first one, I'm going to keep this one anonymous because I don't think they'll want their name being mentioned. This is Snog Marry Avoid. Oh, dear. So I'm giving you Maura Higgins, Anne Doyle and Katie Taylor. <laughs> um, uh, Snog Maura Higgins, Mary... Katie Taylor and uh, avoid and avoid and <laughs> okay. Speaking of Podge Collins, he messaged. He said, "Would you consider giving the big ball a go for a year?" Um, I'm happy where I am. You're happy where you are. Mark Maloney said, "Michael A's or Flynn's." <laughs> oh, I just um, uh, I had to say Flynn's because I worked there as a young lad. Right, and what are these pubs? Uh, pubs in Milltown, Alabama, yeah. Right, okay, okay. Uh, Joe from Milltown said the biggest character on the Milltown team. Biggest character on the Milltown team would be um, Johnny, Johnny Dobson Malone. Uh, okay, Niall O'Connor said, which would you prefer to open first, Malby or Michael A's? Is that the same as Flynn's? And... <laughs> no, no the, um, they're. They're not as uh, Michael A's the pub Milton and Melba is the pub as well. It's was the the Melba. Right, okay. Mike O'Malley's in touch. He said your favourite song singing a night out. Uh Grace. Grace, okay. And Sean O'Loughlin said, Who would you look up to? Who would I look up to? Uh Shawnee Man. Right, we've one last one. John John Campion said the best player to play with on the fits besides the clear lads. Best player to play with the fits. Um I'd say Jason Ford. 